Hi and welcome to Basement Projects. A bandsaw was on my wish list for over a year now. I was tired of cutting everything with an angle grinder or a hacksaw. So I bought the 6x4 bandsaw you see everywhere under different brands. Mine is from Holzmann and I bought it locally and got it delivered only a few days ago. After a few cuts and a quick inspection I wanted to modify it. I knew I wanted to modify it even before I bought it. The first change was a new saw blade. A quality one with 10 TPI was installed for cutting mainly steel and stainless. The original one was badly produced. The area around the weld was slightly bent and uneven. Every time this area passed the sawing material the saw kind of jumped. Furthermore the new saw blade is way faster in any material. The next problem was the wires in a lot of ways. So we will take this step by step. The area around the clamping bolt was uneven and covered with paint. I took the part to the mill and got rid of all the paint and milled a nice even surface for the clamping bolt. All the rough edges and corners were smoothed with a file. This is important for the clamping and for the next steps. I need a clean and even surface. After cleaning the part, let's try it out. Now that the surface is even, you get the same pressure everywhere from the bolt. For the next modifications the vise needs to be wider. I cut out a piece from an 8mm thick stainless steel plate. And to make it look nicer I machined all the edges on my mill. This is not really necessary but I like a clean and precise manufactured part. The thin MDF board prevents a cutter from damaging my milling table. A few strokes with a file and sandpaper for the finish. Unfortunately I lost the video footage from the drilling, so I can only show you the tapping. This is an M12 thread. The purpose will be shown later. The original part of the vise gets two M8 threads for mounting the plate. I don't want to put it permanently on there if the need arises to remove it. Time to put everything together. The new jaw and all the screws are stainless steel. I like the look of it and of course it's corrosion resistance. The only downside is that it's harder to machine and more expensive. If I made no mistakes, then the blade should barely pass the new jaw. Seems to work just fine. An M12 threaded rod is cut to length. This piece will serve as an adjustable machine jack at one end of the vice jaws. To prevent the stainless steel rod from damaging the surfaces of the vise, a brass cover will be machined. It's actually nice that this bandsaw is completely usable while it gets modified. This 35mm brass part took only about 1 minute and 20 seconds to cut off. This is way faster than any hacksaw and less messy than an angle grinder.
The brass cover gets a blind hole for the M12 thread. Drilling and thread cutting are all done on the lathe. The end of the rod gets machined to touch the bottom of the blind hole in the breast cover. I found this piece of rod in my scrap collection. It was already threaded on the inside. After some knurling on the outside, this will make a fine handle for the threaded rod. The black paint inside the breast cover and on the tip of the threaded rod is for checking if those two surfaces touch correctly. Time to attach the handle to the rod. For joining those pieces together I'm using the Chinese variation of Loctite. This is not a thread locker, although I'm using it as such. Normally this is used to fix gears on a shaft. Without heating this handle will never become loose. I don't like the idea of using tools to tighten the clamping bolt. So I will machine a handle with a threaded end to replace the original bolt. With this the vise can be clamped by hand. It took around a minute to cut through this 20mm stainless steel rod. I really like how fast, accurate and easy it is to cut off steel parts. Wish I had bought the machine sooner. The part gets a facing and a chamfer. This end needs to be really flatted at a 90 degree angle for clamping down the vise. Because I was lazy I just drilled and tapped a hole inside the steel rod. With Loctite I will just glue a piece of threaded rod inside. Way easier and faster than machining the rod down and cutting an outside thread on it. What you see here is a 3D printed prototype of a boring spindle for the lathe. I saw such a thing on Steve Jordan's channel and wanted to try it. With this tool you can drill a hole in the exact center of any part that's in your chuck. Time to assemble the new clamping bolt. The handle is just a piece of 6mm high speed steel right now. Maybe I will build a nice handle with stops at the ends. But I kind of like the possibility to remove the handle completely. Let's see if everything will work as imagined. The threaded rod with the breast cover will serve as a machine jack to securely clamp shorter parts in the vise. When everything gets tightened and clamped, the part shouldn't be able to move in the jaws. That's it for this video. Of course there will be more mods in the future, but that's the topic of another video. Bye and thanks for watching.